I was in two gangs um, and I uh, was an enforcer for one of the gangs. I, I used guns and knives um, and committed a lot of violent offences. So, and now working with um, young people who are getting involved in the same. Um, my son is currently serving a 22 year sentence uh, for um, knife crimes, stabbed someone um, and they lost their life. So um, yeah, he's currently um, got about another 11 years left. Um, I think it affected both of us quite a lot. Obviously, Lennox, it was harder. Um, I, he had only been in my life for two years, um, but it was still um, quite heart-wrenching to watch a young person um, go from being filled with so much rage to then taking it out on the streets and just you know um, venting their feelings out on somebody it doesn't necessarily mean that everybody does it that way but for um, my stepson he he was full of rage full of things that had been done and lots of uh, problems he'd had with some of the drug dealers that he was around uh, some of his peers people had done him wrong over his childhood done him a lot of wrongs and they had built up over a long period of time and he just took the rage out on um, somebody who again once again did did him wrong and was goaded by his uh, gang leader um, refocus has been going um, running um, 14 15 years um, it was set up in 2005 um, we work with young people from eight to adults we work all over Kent and South East London um, we work in schools, youth groups. We were at one stage taking young people to prison to show them what prison could be like if they made wrong choices. We do early intervention and crime prevention. Um, we do uh, a lot of mentoring and one-to-one -one sessions as well as group work. It's a culture. It's becoming a culture for young people to carry knives and that's what we want to break in schools from the earliest ages that we can really because the um, majority of kids are picking up knives primarily because someone else has picked up a knife or they're hearing that there are other people picking up knives. And so how do you feel the media portrays the issues? It's a race thing. Um, they're making out that it's just black guys, young black guys who carry knives. For some, it stirs up a lot of um, anger and aggression, you know, and um, also the way the police are portrayed um, around stop and search. They feel that, you know, um, it's not fair, um, you know, because um, a lot of young black guys are targeted it can create an environment of fear when actually it's unnecessary um, so there's two, there's two things that we really feel passionate about one is that the media doesn't profile knife crime as just being young black men because it isn't and in, in Kent we are dealing with traveller communities Eastern European communities white British communities, Asian communities and black and African and Afro-Caribbean communities, it's everybody anyone who is vulnerable basically to picking up a, a, a knife or actually getting involved in Kent lines or gangs it's not just um, black on black it's not mm. and we need to um, yeah we need to kind of I think social media needs to manage that a little bit more healthier and and um, stop scaremongering people I think I, I live in an area where where there, there is um, an issue with um, anti-social behavior because young people the youth service has been cut and there's not a lot of um, provision for young people where I live so um, I, I would say I, I know I know a lot of my community because um, I, I do a lot of work local and community. So, but I would say other people probably don't know who lives in number six or number five, or you know, you don't know who's on your street. So I think that 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 aspect of community is lost, and we need to get that back. So exactly what Bally and Lennox were saying about um, community, we need to take responsibility ourselves as um, as, as community, um, and and not keep blaming other people and saying well you fix it you fix well we I think I would say we are the solution a uh, community Absolutely. yeah I've got lived experience I've been there and done it got the t-shirt and I think um, I touch on some of the issues that a, a lot of people agree with um, and I think it's having a voice for them as well uh, I think that's very key 
it's not just it's not just about the lived experience now it's about understanding the yeah. grassroots issues that go on in society right up to the top with the political issues that go on and how they impact on charities like us how you know um how society in general manages all these problems all right so come and join us at the knife crime summit 21st of september saturday 21st of september at mid kent college 10 to half past four and lunch is included.